I'm Dr. Linda Gromko, and this is Transgender Medicine Made Simple. Today's topic is skin care, non-surgical ways to look more feminine. So what's going on here? I don't usually talk about makeup and cosmetics and that sort of thing. So in this YouTube series, I am generally following the text of the book I wrote, which was called A Practical Reference for Transgender and Gender Nonconforming Adults. Right now, we're moving through the section called the non-surgical things we do to show who we are. So in the next three videos, we're going to be talking about skincare, cosmetics, and grooming. Everything starts with healthy skin. So here are 10 basic principles. But first, be aware that all of these products can cost a fortune. Um, there's an excellent book that was written many years ago called Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me by Paula Bagone. And this, I think, is a very useful encyclopedia. So let's get to our 10 tips. Number one, protect your skin from the inside out with good nutrition. Eat a variety of good foods, but stay away from junk food and fast foods. I know you'll have to eat it some of the time, but try and limit it as much as you can. The salt in fast food can make us look puffy, and alcohol and smoking will definitely make us look older than we are. And at some point in all of our lives, we realize that that's probably not a great thing. Drink water, at least enough to keep you from getting dehydrated. It's a bit controversial right now as to how much water a person should drink. But if you're feeling thirsty, that's a sign that you probably need more. Likewise, if your urine looks dark or concentrated, that's a sign that you need to drink more water. Remember too that spironolactone, which many people take to oppose the effects of testosterone, is a diuretic and it can make you dehydrated. So make certain that you catch up with your water intake. Any coffee drink or caffeine containing product can be a diuretic and it can make us dehydrated. So coffee, tea, colas, and energy drinks especially are products that can dehydrate us. Use sunscreen with an SPF rating of 30 or more. Sun damages our skin, it dries us out, and it ages us before our time. And here's a fun fact, melanomas, which are a, a deadly form of skin cancer, will occur more on the left side of the face than on the right. And that's because of the sun exposure we get while we're doing something as simple as driving in a car. Number four, cleanse your skin once or twice daily. Every company that makes cosmetic products wants your money, but less expensive products may work as well. It's important to be consistent with your regimen. Number five, don't go to bed with your makeup on. If you are just plain too tired for a nighttime routine, keep makeup remover wipes next to your bed. This is really easy and it takes off the makeup and the grime that you've accumulated through the day. There are many price points available for this type of product. Number six, avoid touching your face. First of all, this makes your skin dirty, but we know that we can introduce bacteria and virus particles onto our skin and to our eyes and nose and our mouth. And these were the lessons that we learned from COVID-19. Number seven, use moisturizer of some type during the day and before bed. Again, there are many available brands at many price points, but these will help prevent the effects of aging. It also keeps your skin healthy and intact, so it becomes a better defense against skin damage. Number eight, get enough sleep. Now sleep is a complicated type, a topic, but effective sleep will improve our mental and physical health in addition to making our skin look healthier. This is probably the most important rule of all. If you are smoking, stop smoking now. 
Smoking will accentuate the wrinkles and lines in our face. It delays healing of all kinds. And by the way, if you are heading towards a surgery, particularly a gender affirming genital or facial surgery, your surgeon will not operate you if your urine test outs you as a smoker. So stop smoking now. You know, in all of the years I've been practicing medicine, this little book that I'm showing here, it's Alan Carr's Easy Way to Quit Smoking is probably one of the most useful tools that my clients have used. So take a look at this one if this is something that would be interesting to you. And by the way, he has books about vaping and about the use of other substances. So if you need a, a hand in this, this is a very good resource. And finally, Try some skin treatments such as facials or microneedling. These will help to clean and exfoliate your skin. Plus, they're really nice to do. These can be pricey, but you can find some good deals at places like training institutes, for example, for salons. And this can be a good deal, but also a pleasurable experience. So if this information has been helpful to you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, Transgender Medicine Made Simple. And by the way, if you are interested in getting this book, A Practical Reference for Transgender and Gender Nonconforming Adults, you can find it in your public library. If it's not there, please ask for it. But also you can find it on Amazon as a paperback and an ebook. It is also available in a shorter form on surgery only. So if that's of help to you, please take a look at that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.